Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. My name is Helen Equestrian, and in today's video, very exciting. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I am in the other stable. Rupert is just next door. Um, and yeah, you may be wondering why we have a hay net in here. That is because probably tell from the title but I'm getting a new horse Eek. Um, so yeah very very exciting he is coming today um, however I'm not going to spoil it too early so I'm going to show you some clips of all the stuff I've got for him I am going to Oakfield Equestrian whatever it's called to get some more bits and bobs on Monday um, so yeah, we have got his feed and stuff like that, but you will see that in a minute. Um, and yeah, it is very, very exciting. Um, I also do really hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like and subscribe and comment down below what you want to see in my next one. So yeah, let's get into it because I don't want to make you wait too long. <laughs> Yay! So I'm just going to do a little bit of a tack haul. We got two bins for his feed. I've got three buckets because one of them is like broken and a water bucket and the lids obviously and a stable chain and a hay net. That's what we've got so far and yeah, we're currently cleaning out a stable to put some mats in. So this is what the stable looked like before we tidied it all out and put the mats down and everything. That is what I just wanted to show in this clip. Um, you probably would have seen this in my last video but here's a, another little look in case you didn't so yeah so we have now put the mats down but we need to trim them because our stable is not like it's a strange shape because we built it <laughs> but yeah nearly done and he's got his hay ring up so yeah i'm gonna do rupert now i think we're finished for the day all that was in here <laughs> so yeah nearly done yeah, very exciting. You're getting a brother. You're getting a new friend. For you. <laughs> You're a good boy. So this is his stable. He's got a nice big bed. Water. Hey, net. I'm going to have to go because my dad is rushing me. There's Ruby. Come on. So this is me trying him. Um... <laughs> The clips are not in order, that is why the first clip is me jumping him, um, but I obviously did not just get straight on and jump, um, but yeah, my seat wasn't amazing, but I felt really safe on him, like, he wasn't gonna, like, stop or anything, or throw a book or whatever, like, I just kinda felt quite safe on him, um, and yeah, he was, like, he had a lovely slow canter, um, but it obviously needs a lot of work, uh, especially this rain. He was a lot weaker, and I don't know if you can really tell, but he, I could tell as soon as I cantered. I couldn't. I felt like I couldn't really sit it, but yeah. Um, and he, this was also his second time ever being in this arena um, because he'd come to a dealer's yard to be sold, and then we bought him, obviously. Um, but yeah, his trot was so smooth. It was like floating. Um, and he can do a nice trot. He just needs a bit of like, come on, let's go. Because <laughs> he is a bit lazy. But that is what I wanted for my first horse. Um, coming off ponies, obviously Rupert is 14 too. But he's got quite a short, quick little stride. Whereas going to a 16 too, which is what he is, um, is, is quite a difference. <laughs> so... Yeah, but I felt really, like, safe on him, like I said before. And, yeah, he does need a bit of work with his steering as well because he kept trying to run everyone over. <laughs> but I'm sure that'll work. Actually, we can work on that. Um, but, yeah, he was so good, bless him, to say this is his second time ever in this arena. And, oh, there we go, cantering. Yeah, this rain was a lot better. He's a lot more forwards. Um struggling to sit a little but that was because it must was my first canter on him uh but then i kind of got it and he, he felt amazing um yeah i look a bit stiff 
but we won't judge me we'll just look at the pony or well, the horse <laughs> but yeah he was really really good and yeah I don't really have much else to say Hello beautiful Hello you as well So <coughs> This is George Now You may be wondering Why have you bought a horse Whose face looks like it has been through a car crash Well That's because He was a little bit scared of the trailer Because he's never been in one before And he's only five um, And he was like Trying to get on like he does with a wagon So he's trying to turn and then when he was in the trailer, he just like, I think he whacked his head on the roof or something. And then he caught his face on something else. Um, so it looks quite gnarly. But it has healed a little bit. This is the morning with him, first day. Um, so yeah, it doesn't look nice, but it looks better than it did last night. But poor baby. Hey. Yeah, he's really good. Uh, I haven't mucked him out yet, but he's done strange things. Like, he hasn't pooed over there, but he's pooed, like, there. <laughs> so, you're a strange one, aren't you, George? Oh, dear. And then, of course, we've got to say hello to Mr. Rhubarb. <laughs> hello. You got a friend? You finally got a friend? Oh, dear, he's a big twactor. A big twactor, Rupert. But yeah, two boys, one in pink and one in blue. Mm, Mr. Roo. <laughs> anyway, you're a good boy. So I am not going to show you mucking him out because I need to get more like acquainted with him and stuff. So I'm not going to show you mucking out Rupert either because like that's boring. <laughs> but yeah, Rupert's happy, George is happy. Also, he doesn't have a show name because he was training to race but he never like got given a name so he wasn't even called George so the people that bought him from the racing yard called him George uh, so he doesn't have a show name but I was thinking like something like Sir George the second or summer I don't know but yeah we'll see we'll see but yeah he's very pretty apart from his face that he has mashed on the trailer so we are gonna do a lot of trailer work um, because where we live, we need to do a, a lot of travelling most of the time to get to arenas and stuff. Because we do not have an arena yet, as you can see, but it is, it's not going to be huge. It's going to be just enough to lunge and maybe do a little bit of flat work and ground work. Um, but yeah, hopefully, we will be all good. <laughs> And we also are having some like saddle check things. One of my mum's friends has an old had an old race horse who was 16 too, but a bit chunkier than him. So we're seeing if that saddle fits him, but if it doesn't we will get the saddle fitter out. Um, so yeah, we will see. So thank you for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. Um, as you can see, George is feeling a little bit sorry for himself because he did cut his face in the trailer but luckily it's not like anything deep or out like that um, so he just had like some superficial wounds uh, so they should heal pretty soon it's just a bit of a shame really but I'm sure he'll be okay soon um, but yeah, like I said, I really hope you enjoyed today's video and make sure you follow along with our journey And yeah, I will hopefully see you in my next video Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below what you want to see in my next video Bye